Hello Year 12, uh, this is just a short video uh, about how to plan and how to uh, write the essay question for next week on Kantian Ethics. I'm going to start uploading these videos every week because there's been a bit of confusion about uh, the best way to plan essays. So Kantian Ethics, which you should have studied at home if you've been isolating. The question for next Wednesday, so that's for Wednesday the uh, 25th, a successful ethical system can never be based solely upon reason. Okay, so what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to start first of all by trying to understand the question. Now what this question is asking is, does Kantian ethics work? That's all it's asking really, because Kantian ethics is the only ethical system we're looking at which is based solely upon reason. So this is an essay on Immanuel Kant. So the opening paragraph. This needs to be an introduction to Kant's moral philosophy. So you need to talk about Kant's normative, duty, reason, the ontological, you need to talk about the goodwill. All of these ideas that are in the opening paragraph that's in the video, in the slides. Okay. Then you need to argue, well, do you think an ethical system can be based on reason or not? So your opening opinion. Then with the next paragraph, I would begin by just laying out a bit more AO1. So I would talk about the categorical imperative and just very quickly lay out the three formulations. A universalizability or universalization, and then use Kant's quotes. This is all in your revision guides, all in your reading packs, and explain with an example. Okay, the second formulation, treat others as an end, never solely as a means. Use Kant's quotes and explain with an example. And then the third formulation, the idea of the kingdom of ends. Use Kant's quotes and explain with an example. At the end of each uh, uh, of this, what I would do is I would do um, an AO2 strength of using reason. And this can be anything. So this could be the idea that uh, it creates universal law for all, which means it treats everyone equally. The idea that everybody is uh, valued, so it values human life. Okay, so that's your first two paragraphs. So your intro, where you're laying out Kant and your opinion. Second paragraph, where you're just laying a bit more out about what Kant says and introducing the strength of that. And then three, four, five. Strengths and weaknesses. So it could be a strength a weakness of the idea that you should use reason. So strengths could be that um, it appeals to what's unique in human beings, it appeals to human nature, um, it doesn't rely on emotion, which is good, which is safer than uh, relying on emotions. But obviously weaknesses are that it makes us a bit robotic, it's unrealistic. Think of the example of the Axeman. The Axeman's also um, 
always, sorry, a good example. The Axeman um, can't expect individuals to simply follow reason above emotion, for example. Okay, and also try to introduce critics as well if you can. You can bring in utilitarianism and say utilitarianism is better. I mentioned Bentham. Um, but try and bring in some critics from the Kant unit. Everything else you need is all in the reading packs. Okay, if you have any questions, then please uh, email me. This is due on Wednesday, okay, the 25th.